Hi and welcome back to another video. So this video is on a very hot topic that everybody wants to know about. Today we'll be discussing how to get that next promotion. So in this video, I'll be sharing 15 tips that can help you move closer to the next promotion. So let's start and discuss these points. So the very first thing that you should find out is to see if your company has an IDP in place. So IDP stands for Individual Development Plan. What it means is that your company already has a plan set for you and you know how you grow and what is the hierarchy in the company, which is the next step that you can climb to, how do you get there and how would you move after that. So first of all, see if your company has that. But if your company does not that have that in place, then don't worry. You can make an IDP for yourself. So what you can do is you need to study your team, you need to study your company and the hierarchy there, the systems there and see where you're at right now and what is the next step up. Then you need to calculate what do you need to do to get to that next step. Otherwise, there are some other points that I would discuss in this video. You can consider those points as well next step is to discuss this with your boss so what you can do is you can sit down with your boss or your team leader or your manager and tell him that you are interested in creating an idp if it's not in place if it is in place then you can sit down and discuss the idp with him and uh, together you can create an action plan to see how you can get to the next step up if you don't have an IDP in place, then the one that you created yourself, like I suggested in the first point, you can discuss that with your boss and take in their inputs as well. Check with them if they can give you some action items or if they can tell you how to get to certain goals, short term goals or long term goals or to the next level. And you, like I said, you can discuss it with your boss and come up with a plan as to how do you get to the next level. Now, of course, your next question could be, what if my boss is not supportive? Of course, that's a very realistic possibility. So in that case, you can look up to your mentors, your trainers, or anybody who has that kind of experience. Maybe in your friend circle, somebody got a promotion, you can talk to them about it. So anybody who has uh, experience and knowledge, you can discuss it with them and come up with a plan with them. Third point is to create and maintain a routine. So when you're a part of a team, but you're looking to move to the next level and get a promotion, then of course you need to be really hardworking and you need to be very disciplined. So you need to set a routine for yourself. You should know that when you reach office, what is it that you need to do first? Do you check emails? Do you check updates? Do you get into a team meeting or a team huddle? Do you go talk to your boss and see if there's something that has come up or any updates that have come your way? And then you start Start doing your core work then you see if there are any new things that you could do if there are any more responsibilities that you can take so you need to set a routine for yourself and you will see that disciplined people who always have their tasks organized are generally more successful so you need to start inculcating these habits and set yourself uh, in a routine and start doing things in a more organized manner Point number four is to have good work ethics and hygiene. So even in my last video, I had discussed about hygiene and how you are supposed to stay at work for as many hours as you're required to and also to be on time and to take uh, minimal, not minimal breaks, but the number of breaks that you are supposed to and to not take extended breaks. So apart from this, you also have to consider the fact that when you are looking for a promotion, you are moving one step up right so then you can't be casual you can't be indisciplined you can't just pass time while you're at work because as you grow um, as you grow up and get a bigger position you will also have more responsibilities so you need to show the management and to your organization that you're ready for those responsibilities and that you have the right ethics so of course you can't take shortcuts you can't um, take the easy way out you have to have a lot of integrity you should be able to take responsibility and ownership so all these good work ethics have to be in place and you should also be practicing good hygiene at work 
Point number five is to speak up and to contribute ideas. So when you're in a team, but you feel like you're ready for a promotion and to take the next step up, then you need to show your boss and to your management that you have something special in you. So here is where you can start speaking up. So some of you may be introverts and you may not like to be in public attention and to speak in public gatherings or in meetings. But it is a good idea to start building this habit to speak up and to start giving ideas to the management and to your bosses. Now there is also something called lean management which is also about giving ideas, uh, even uh, ideas for things that are already in place where you just eliminate waste or uh, increase efficiency or to find a way to do something in a better way. So you could have been doing something for the last two years and you thought of something which could speed up the process or to make it more efficient then of course you should bring it to the attention of your boss or to the management and also it is about continuous improvement so whichever processes you have in place if you can think of um, improving them in some sense then by all means talk about it speak up and be visible to your boss and to the management Point number six is to follow your KRAs. Now KRAs are your key result areas or your key responsibility areas which means that you are getting paid to do this set of tasks or this is the area of your work. So whatever your designation is or whatever your position is, you are supposed to do one task or a set of tasks for that position which is generally what your KRAs are. So. It should be absolutely clear to you what exactly your KRAs are and you should not mix that with any additional responsibilities or initiatives that you're taking. Um, KRAs are the bare minimum that you need to do in order to earn your salary. So that is something that is non-negotiable and you can never uh, kind of fall short in doing those uh, things or completing those responsibilities. So you should know clearly what your KRAs are. If you're not sure, then by all means, sit down with your immediate supervisor and understand exactly what your KRAs entail. And you should kind of see that as a checklist and you should be able to complete all of them. And only after you've completed your KRAs, should you move on to do something else, which could be an additional responsibility or anything that adds value to your uh, job responsibility. So now that we have the KRAs out of the way, we can focus on taking additional responsibilities and taking initiatives. So like I talked about it in the last point, KRAs is what you're supposed to do anyway and everybody does that. So that is the bare minimum that you're supposed to do at your job and everybody has to complete their KRAs. So that's not anything special that you're doing. In order to show your management or to your boss that you are ready for the next step up, you have to do something special. So here is where you would start taking initiatives, you can start taking additional responsibilities, kind of showing your boss that see I am doing something extra or I am adding more value to my job. So not only am I completing my own responsibilities, I am doing something extra for the team and for the company. So it is a good idea of course to take new responsibilities and start adding things to your um, you know to your book and also to slowly increase your KRAs so these might not be your official KRAs so that is already set by the company but once you complete that and you start doing th something regularly some additional responsibilities regularly then they kind of become your unofficial KRAs also so you can start practicing that.